Hey guys, this is Ray with RBA Photo Boots. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your RBA air print. So when you get your air print, it'll have a little sticker right here and you'll notice that SSID is RBA845. You got to remember to put in your password, okay? Now, when you get this, um, it'll come with a cord like this. This is the power adapter. So you plug it into the power adapter. Oh, make sure that the SD card is there, okay? Later on, we will have some upgrades and we'll need to take that with us. I mean, send it back to us and we'll do the upgrade. But for now, this is as up updated as we could get. Um, so I'm gonna plug it in. And there she is. Now she's plugged in. You'll notice a little light that's turned on up there. Now, the way to connect this to your printer, okay, is first you gotta turn on your printer okay now it's on and this is your usb this usb supposedly is going to be connected to your laptop or your power hub your port port power hub but since this is an airplane you're not gonna do that you're gonna connect it just connect it right here in the middle okay and you'll notice it right there blinking Now, if you want to connect a Wi-Fi uh, hard wire, you could do that as well on this one. Now, we're going to go to my iPad right here, and I'm going to show you guys how to uh, connect this. IPad. So the first thing you got to do is you go to your settings. Well, right over here, you got to turn on your Wi-Fi, and you're going to have to look right here where it says RBA 845 you check that now it's connected now your printer your air print is connected to your iPad now depending on what photo boot software you're using it may have a different setup where in this case I'm using a slideshow photo boot iPad app where it says right here iPad to printer USB iPad to printer network. Um, hmm. I'm thinking it's this. All the way down, we will see where it says air print. And then select. It's going to look for the air print. And you'll notice that it'll say DSRX1. It'll say cut. And the other one says it doesn't cut. So depending on what type of uh, paper you're going to be using. Like... For instance, with me, my template doesn't, it's not a photo strip, so I'll just choose that. Now that I've chosen that, I'm going to go ahead and take a sample. All right, so I'm going to go photo right here, and this is me, and we're going to go ahead and start the booth so that we can actually see how this thing will play out on the printer. So let's take pictures. All right. It'll say here, we detected one face. Yeah. How many copies would you like to print? I'll just print one. And now it's gonna go ahead and print it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Man, this thing's taking forever. <laughs> it's like 11 seconds. <laughs> not bad. It's not that bad considering, you know, it's an air print. You know? But also keep in mind that, you know, this is not Wi-Fi. So you don't even have to have a Wi-Fi uh, anywhere in a venue. This is just strictly air print from your iPad to your printer. So there it is. It's 11 seconds. Um, normally a DNP RX1 will take about 8, 9 seconds. So that's... Couple of seconds more, but hey, saves you the money.